What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get a private server with EZFN dev and this is working after the latest patch that you guys might know actually patched private servers but I have a way that is actually 100% working for you guys. So really quickly before I show you guys that if you guys want you guys to subscribe if you want to see more of these private server videos and you will be notified right when I post one whenever there's a new patch or a new private server. And let's see if we can get 150 likes on this video that'd be really amazing guys. So if you guys have not yet make sure you hit that like button so that more people can see this video. So recently EZFN released a version of their private server that is compatible with version 16.1. But I've tried it out in 16.2 and a lot of you guys have as well and it is not working for some people. I'm sure it works for some people but it's not working for me specifically. So I have a workaround. Alright so to get this working you have to join the official EZFN server on the official Discord server. I'll have the link for it in the description. And once you're in here you want to go down on here to older clients and then you click on here and then you all you have to do is click on easy installer so all you have to do is click on it and it will automatically download this it's called easy installer what it does is it installs old fortnite versions so once this has installed all you have to do is click on the install and it'll have this and again this is made by lupus and um, a couple of other devs so you guys can 100% trust this the one that I used for this one is I used version 133 so it's gonna ask you to type in a number so you're gonna type in the number that corresponds with which release you want so I got season 15 um, point oh, the initial release of season 15 it doesn't get any of them but I prefer season 15 because it has all of the most recent skins at least close enough because you can't use season 16 as of right now but season 15 is the next best option since it has all of the different cosmetics in it that are more recent than the other ones so you can also get older versions as well um including all the way back to the initial release of season 3 and um the latest patch of season 2 so yeah there's a lot of different ones but i'm personally just going to do 15.0 as some of those earlier ones do not work so once you figure out which version you want all you have to do is simply type in the number so i would type in 133 then you're gonna press enter and then you're gonna type in the game folder location so you're gonna choose anything like make a desktop folder or something and then you're just gonna type in the path of that location and then it'll install there so i've already installed version 15.0 so i'll show you guys where that is so version 15.0 is right on over here on my desktop so it says season 15. um so yeah once you've done that you're sticking to a folder and you're done with that step Okay, so the next step is going to be going on to easyfn.dev the website and the link for this will be in the description so once you're on this website, it'll ask you to log in. So you want to make sure you're logging in up here. Um, and also when it prompts you for a username or email, make sure you just use an email because the username, um, for some reason, it doesn't let you log in if you use a username. So once you've done that, you just want to click down here on download private server, just like I did. So what you want to do is you want to drag this wherever on your desktop. Then you just want to make a folder like this. You just want to call it EZFN. And then you're going to just drag it into there. It doesn't really matter what you call the folder, but this is what I did just to keep it all organized. So all you want to do is double click on the launcher as the next step. And then it should pop up with something like this. So what you want to do is you want to go on over here and you can change up the lobby background. So I prefer the World Cup because that one looks really cool. Um, you guys have probably seen that on a lot of other private servers. But if you want, even though this one is season 15, you can always change the background to season 16 to make people think that it is still season 16. But I like the World Cup background, so I'm gonna keep that background. And then the next thing you wanna do is go on into your settings and you wanna change your Fortnite path to this Fortnite folder, wherever you installed it. So mine has already been changed to my desktop. I'm blurring out my name right now, but you guys can see that it says desktop and then season 15. So that's all you have to do for that. And then for cosmetics URL, you want to paste in this and it's in the discord under the private server channel. It's just all.lupusleaks.rebel.co. Just make sure you have that cosmetics URL in the cosmetics URL area. And then once you're done with all of those three steps, now you can simply launch up Fortnite. So we're just going to click on launch. And then you're just going to give it a couple seconds and it will launch the game. Alright guys, so you can just see it did just launch up like this. So this is season 15 right now, chapter 2 season 5, and it is loading up just like this. And it will for some reason have all of these things like the latest battle royale and latest creative. I don't know why it does that, but that's what it is. And then once you get on into here, it will be using your display name from when you downloaded the private server. So that's pretty much what that does. You guys can see we have the custom background. Um, you go into the locker, we have all the skins in the entire game, up to season 5 at least. 
So it's still a lot of skins. You can still do a lot of trolling. So yeah, you can show off your friends, um, your locker, your entire locker with everything in it. So yeah, and this is only the cosmetics up to the release of Season 5, so version 15.00. If you downloaded a more recent version, like 15.3, that would give you every single skin that ever came out in Season 5. But I was just doing 15.0 because of the install size. It's a much, much smaller install by, you know, a couple gigabytes. So that's why I installed this one. But anyway, this one still has a ton of skins for you guys to use. And it does not crash like the um, current version of Fortnite. So it's pretty cool that you can actually get into the game. And if you want to, you can also load up um, any season from Chapter 1, which is pretty cool. If you want to go back to that lobby, that also works. So yeah. So we have every single backpack as well. So this backpack, so we have every single backpack in the entire game. So we're just going to equip a random one. Let's equip the Star Wars back wing. And then for pickaxes, we have all of these pickaxes. So you can just choose any pickaxe. Um, and then there's like an emote that lets you show the pickaxe so you can actually prove that it works in your lobby. And then you guys can see that we also have all the gliders. Although you will not be able to see these anyway inside the game. I'm just going to select them just to show you guys. Alright, so now we're choosing a skin that's from Chapter 1, Season 1. And we're going to show you guys some cool emotes. So let's choose the... You can choose the purple school trooper, just like this. All right, so we have the purple school trooper now, and I'm gonna show you guys some cool built-in emotes that you can use. So over here, you can do all of the built-in emotes from any season before the Marvel season, because those need to be specifically unlocked. So if you wanna do any of those cool built-in emotes, um, I know that there's one called Go Cat Go that a lot of people like using. So here it is, um, if you go into the lobby and you use this emote, you'll see that the skin kind of like glitches out and does the actual built-in emote, even though it's not even supposed to do that. So that's pretty cool. That's a really cool thing you guys can use with um, these bots, with this private server. So the next one I can show you guys is going to be the Swolcat emote. And this one lets you also do a built-in emote, just like that. And yeah, so that's pretty much what that thing does. And it's pretty cool because you can use like any emote in the game and any built-in emote as well up to chapter two, season five. All right guys, so that's all I'm gonna show you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.